Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. Today she has naked nails, which really make me crazy. I don't like naked nails. I just haven't had time to do it. Naked nails, naked face, questionable hair. Don't care, we're moving on. Okay, this is empty, so I'm pretty happy, although there's not a lot of wax empties. Um, what I was able to get through in those bags, I'm happy about. So I'm just pulling out the non-waxy business first. Um, okay, so uh, that's actually wax that goes over there, and um, okay, I'm not really ready, but am I ever ready? Okay, and those are all clams. Okay, so non wax, um, I wore this week uh, No Way San Jose from Color Street, it's kind of like a, a, a tanny coral, it's like a corally like a corally terracotta color and it's really pretty and I had something on top of it. I had um, a glitter overlay on a few of them from an off-brand uh, like um, Hello, Lo Lovely Hello is the off-brand. But anyway, that was No Way San Jose and there's still some left in that. And so if you don't know already, next time I use it, I will blow the hair dryer over both sides of it just to kind of warm up the adhesive a little bit so we can I can use it again. Yeah, so once they're open, seal them up with a hot iron and then blow dry them and they're good to go. Okay, also uh, non-wax, I finished a bottle of argan oil and this I get at Trader's Trader Joe's. It is 100% argan oil um, extracted from the argan tree of Morocco. Trader Joe's original uh, organic, sorry, Trader Joe's organic argan oil is 100% pure and naturally rich in vitamin E and fatty acids. It easily absorbs into hair, skin, and nails to deeply nourish without leaving oily residue. Now, I think on my last empties, I believe I talked about uh, my skincare um, regimen. And in the morning, I use Philosophy Serum and uh, L'Oreal Collagen Cream. At night, I use Philosophy Serum, Night Serum, Day Serum, Night Serum. And then I alternate between Argan Oil Cream and Argan Oil Oil. And it sounds so counterintuitive to do this. I have combination skin, um, like a clear T-zone. And so what I would do, there's just a little bit left in here. And I won't do it now because I can do my nails, but I just pat it together and just go like this before bed. So one night is the straight oil and the other time is lotion. But I also use it as cuticle oil as well. So anyway, getting back to how counterintuitive, because you just don't think putting oil on top of an oily skin or oily face or T-zone, whatever, it just doesn't make sense, but I am so, I'm pretty happy with my skin. I'm gonna be 58 in a couple of weeks. Um, I've not changed my skincare regimen for years and years and years, and I don't intend to. So that's my blurb about argan oil. Uh, also, I finished um, the Sandalwood and Tangerine Body Wash from Scentsy. I really love this one. This was part of the Father's Day collection. It is still available. Um, go to my website, look under the Father's Day tab under collections. This is sandalwood, white cedar, sorry, tangerine, white cedar, and sandalwood. It's definitely um, more on the, I hate to say masculine side, but a little uh, warmer, deeper, richer than, a, you know, a light fluffy floral. It's not like that at all. So the a sandalwood and the cedar bring it down to kind of like a woody, um, comforting, cozy note. I don't get a whole lot of tangerine. But anyhow, I ordered the body care kit for my father. He likes it. I ordered the body care kit for me and I like it. Um, I finished Scentsy Dish Soap and Johnny Appleseed. What can I say? You know how much I love Johnny Appleseed. Um, if you don't know already, the pumps from the laundry detergent, Scentsy Laundry Detergent, fit in here. So when you finish your laundry detergent, 
throw away the bottle, but keep the pump because the pump will go in the dish soap. And that's why this looks like it's empty because I pulled out the pump to save for the next one. And then I also order uh, finished Bath and Body Works Honolulu Sun. This was gifted to me by Candy Kim 1978. Um, it's just been tucked away and I need to pull out and start using my, um, Bath and Body Works soaps. I have a lot of them. Anyway, she gifted it, this to me when I first moved back. She gave me kind of like a welcome home package. So I'm happy about that. Um, and, uh, actually tomorrow, Kim and another friend, Sarah and I are going to Peggy's Cove. So maybe we'll take a few pictures. Uh, maybe she'll vlog. She's a vlogger. I try to vlog, but I start like one or two days and then I, I forget to vlog and then something happens like, oh, damn it, I should have vlogged that, but I'm not a vlogger. Anyway, back to um, Honolulu Sun. This is Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, and Driftwood. And I really enjoyed this. I definitely got coconut and driftwood in this and I enjoyed it. Okay, then for candles, I just finished one candle, Bath & Body Works Vanilla and Peach Tea. And this burned almost all the way down. It's self-extinguished. There's no soot. It was a perfect burn. I have nothing bad to say about this. And this was peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, and fresh oat milk. And it was just very peachy, creamy. And I enjoyed that one as well. Okay, then we're going to get into the wax. So for bags, um, I'll talk about this one first. So on my last melting basket, you saw I pulled out a lot of bags from VCS that are four plus years old. This is one of them. It was poured in March of 2018, so that's four plus years old. Princess of Monaco. It's lemon and something, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, it still smells good, but not as strong as it did when I first got it four years ago. So I have three chunks left of that. So I am going to finish that this week. I'm very happy to get uh, to get through it. Um, you know, I definitely had a problem back in the day with hoarding stuff. I am getting better. I don't order 10 of anything anymore. So uh, because I know when, if I like something and it's gone, I know there's another something behind it that I like, you know, just as much. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with hoarding. But anyhow, okay, so I'm just gonna put these out. Okay, so that I will keep out because I'm going to finish that. So the other things I finished, um, Bath and Body Works Campfire Pumpkin. This was a candle that I chopped, I think two years ago. I don't think it was out. And I know I did it when I still lived in Houston. So it's probably two years old. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely like a smoky pumpkin scent and it was good. I melted um, from Ella After Limited Edition, which is Dollhouse Chi Shaving Cream and Coconut Milk. This one I really liked as well. I definitely, I got the coconut and the shaving cream in there and it was really nice. Um, from VCS from 2021, this is Co Caffeine Queen, which is Starbucks coffee, Snickers coffee, and gooey marshmallow. And I do really enjoy VCS coffee scents. Um, I wish I was closer. Again, shipping to the Canada is like astronomical. Um, Rebecca has an opening destination wax on July 1st, which I really want a loaf of the new one, Blackberry Oud, so save me one of those. Um, also from VCS poured in 2017, 11, 2017, so like four and a half years old. This was Beehive. And these were the big blossom bags i believe uh lemon coconut cream butter cake and zucchini bread love 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 beehive love beehive i had some from vcs and then i also got some in a d stash i think from char um i got a few things from char in the past but anyway regardless beehive when i first got it the throw was probably nine out of ten now i would say it's seven out of ten it was present it was there but it wasn't you know blow you out of the house kind of business I also finished, I'm so happy I got through these big bags, um, from VCS poured in July of 2018, four years old again, uh, pumpkin layer cake and cream cheese frosting. Oh my gosh, this was so, so good. Um, if you get, if you see the great pumpkin and you like pumpkin scents, definitely, definitely check it out. It was so good. This one, again, you know, four years ago, it was super strong, probably nine out of 10 for throw. 
this one didn't do as good as the other one. I would probably give it a six out of 10. Again, all this is just more data in my head not to be hoarding stuff. Okay, and then the last little baggie I have here was a little uh, sample from the bathing garden in the corn maze. And I did enjoy this, kind of like corn cake. It was good if you like bakery says if you like corn, it was good. I enjoyed it. Okay, and then we have just a couple of Scentsy clams because I just was concentrating really on those bags. And let's see. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay, so today's Scentsy Saturday is Roll of the Dice and Paradise Petals. So that's up right now. Um, then throughout the week, I melted Better Homes and Gardens Black Violet Iris. This was really good. Violet Iris, Mahogany, Bergamot, Pear, and Amber Scent Notes. This was good. Um, definitely got the fruit notes, but the fruit plus the amber was really, really lovely. Almost, I don't want to say perfumey, but um, I would wear this as a perfume. It was really nice. The violet and the iris are kind of light florals to my nose. And then mixed with the pear and the amber, it was it was really nice. This I would repurchase. If I had access to Better Homes and Gardens here, this would be a repurchase for me. So scent appeal for me on this one was probably eight to nine out of 10. It wasn't super strong, maybe a seven, a decent medium. So I'll, I'll take that. Um, vitamin W Unwind, this was good. This is Sweet Apple Blossom, Crisp Cucumber Peel and Serene Spa Water. And it is just really kind of fresh spa-like. I did get a little of the cucumber. Funny that, you know, our my nose uh, preferences change, my scent preferences change. I never liked cucumber in wax, but the more I kind of dab, dabble into it, I do like it a little bit more. Uh, a couple days ago, I was dying to melt some cinnamon buttercream. So I did. It wasn't in the bathroom, but it is so so good um it's italian buttercream creamy mascarpone cinnamon cake and sugar spice and everything nice and this is so so yummy and it's so strong like nine out of ten i hope i didn't i won't regret this i have three in my stash it was in my sensi club i took it out this week to put a few bring back my bars in um in the hopes that it will come back sometime no guarantees though no guarantees that's a big risk on my part but i do have a couple back there and so i took it out to put something else in we'll see what happens okay lemon lavender um this is tangy lemon sweet lavender flowers this was old like i'm not sure if you can tell by the clam but it's kind of grungy looking it's a little bit yellow in spots the label is has all deteriorated not deteriorated but changed color and not only that more concerning that was the wax itself changed color like the bottom two-thirds was yellow which is supposed to be at the top layer it would turn kind of purpley gray so it was time to melt that but it was still pretty good i was surprised uh lemon and lavender and i would i would purchase that one again lemon lavender that was really good uh pink sugarberry mint i love this one this is very similar to a retail wax of a similar name. Um, and, <clears throat> pardon me, um, it is in the catalog right now. So I think I have one left in my stash. I might order two more just to make, you know, a, a, little, a little stash. And Strawberry Rose. Um, I was going out the other night to a ghost walk here in town. And one of the gals I went with came here first for a glass of wine. She's like, oh, what am I going to melt? And it's always a big question, right? But anyway, when she walked in, she said, oh, your house smells so nice. And it was strawberry rose, which is sweet blend of strawberry, soft rose, pezzle, petals, and sheer musk. And it's really good. I enjoy that one. Um, okay, I think that's it. Um, there's some sneak peeks coming down from uh, Salt Lake City. This is Sensi Family Reunion Week. I had all intentions of going because it was the first convention since prior to COVID. So last year it wasn't a thing. The year before that wasn't a thing. So this was going to be my first Sensi convention. I made director, so I would have walked across the stage for director. I got an annual sales award this year, so I would have walked for that. 
Um, I could have finally met Lisa Roberry and given her lots of hugs and my other teammates as well. Um, Joshua, you know, Joshua and I are friends. He was, he is there. So there was a lot to go for, but, um, in January and February was, I think you've seen me babble on about this before. January and February were really hard for me here. It was a rough winter. I didn't realize I missed Houston and Texas. I'm all my friends down there as much as I did. So I could choose money wise to go to for one trip. I could go to Houston or I could go to Salt Lake City. And because of my mental state at the time, I chose Houston. I don't regret it at all. I'm so glad I went. I just know how much I cried. <laughs> I chose Houston. I'm glad I did. I got together with all my buddies. Um, was There was a surprise party, or I was a surprise for my friend's birthday. Um, and we had a great time. I just, you know, I miss my gals there. I miss, I actually miss my job there as busy and as crazy as it was. I miss that as well. Um, but anyway, so next year, Salt Lake City all the way for sure. Um, like I said, I, I wanted to do both. I really, really, really wanted to go to Salt Lake City. But I, I'm i glad I went to Houston. I needed to go back to Houston. But anyway, on an upbeat note, um, I did get a new job. Um, there is a nursing home here. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say the name. It's Well, I don't know why I couldn't. It's called Windsor Elms. Nursing, you know, long-term care, you know, is not my thing at all. I'm acute, high-risk OB, and that's what I love. However, now that my dad has gone into a nursing home, I feel compelled to go down that path. And I feel like I might be of value to somebody. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people in long-term care don't get a lot of visitors. Um, and what's nice about the Windsor Elms is they operate on the Eden model and you can Google Eden, Eden model. You, ha you must follow a strict you know, set of guidelines in order to be designated an Eden uh, nursing home. And there's an emblem that they have on their website. It's on their facility as well. And um, it's 108 beds divided into three neighborhoods and each neighborhood is 36 beds and then each 36 beds is divided in half. So. I'll have 18 beds with, you know, an LVN and some CCAs and things like that. So what I like about this model is they, you know, concentrate specifically on three things, boredom, loneliness, and helplessness. They like the residents to consider it their home. They drive their own care. And um, I'm excited to develop relationships with the residents. And that's what struck me at my father's nursing home, which is not an Eden care, an Eden home. Um, but mom was telling me stories like, you know, they, because my father has dementia, good days, bad days. And one of the LVNs that he works with, um, that works with him on a consistent basis, you know, says to my mom, oh, we know when Max is lying because he, ma he makes a joke. Or we know when Max doesn't know the answer, he makes a joke. So they have developed a relationship with him. And that is what I feel I need to do, or I'm called to do. Man drinking, like, um, yes, in OB, we do develop relationships. There's short-term relationships. You have to, you have to, you still have to make a relationship in a short amount of time. They trust you. You're their caregiver. They're going through a lot of pain, delivering birth. It could be their first baby. It could be fetal demise. There's a lot of things that go wrong in OB and you have to get that, you know, a relationship initiated very quickly, but it ends quickly as well. You know, they may be on your unit for two hours, 10 hours, if they're very ill longer. Um... So I, yeah, so relationships, I'm really kind of looking forward to developing relationships and hopefully I can, I have something to offer a long-term care facility. So that's my news. Anyway, chit chat, chit chat. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, I want to remind you one more time and I'll probably, I'll be posting it ad nauseum in the next couple of days about the bring back my bar. They're going away on the 30th is the last day. What day is this? This is June, the 30th. 
Um, and so bundle them, put them in your club like I did. I put four in my club. I might consider, there's one or two I might consider more. I put in, I'll tell you what I put in just in case you want to know. Um, I put in inner hand for me. I put in this one and I put in this one. Okay. Into my club, I put in, I took out the cinnamon buttercream. I took out Hendrix. That was one of the uh, ones from January's collection that you could only get if you put it in a club. So I took that out. I took the but cinnamon buttercream out. I feel like I took one more out. I'm not sure. I know I'm going to take out one when I get my next uh, delivery, which is going to be in July, between Southern Evening, Southern, Southern Evening and Thunderstorm. And I'm just kind of on the fence which one I'm going to take out. They're similar. I don't think I need both. I think... Thunderstorm is the one I like better, but again, I want to smell them both side by side. I have them in my closet. It's just, you know, the, you know how it is in there. I'm just don't want to dig through it. But anyway, okay. So what I, put, what I put in my club was Blonde Wood and Moonflower. This is so nice. Pale Warm Wood, Moonflower, Delicate White Roses, and Lilies. It's very calming, relaxing, a little sultry. I would melt this like in the evening, watching TV, in the bedroom. I, I really like this one. Um, I also put Inner Peace in. This is Earthy Woods, Lemon Groves, and Cypress. And this to me is just, it's very, very fresh and zesty and clean. It's definitely lemon. It's actually like lemon groves, lemon and the wood notes, as if you're picking lemon trees, you know, in Sicily or something. When I was in Italy, uh, we went down the coast to Positano and um, where else did we go? What, what's down the coast? Amalfi. Anyway, like lemon trees just hanging over the road. It was just freaking amazing. I cannot wait to go back to um, Italy. The other one I put in is lemon coconut chiffon. Ooh, so good. Lemon custard, butter cake, and toasted coconut. If you love anything bakery or anything lemon, get this one and get this one if you love lemon. Inner Peace is so good. Lemon coconut chiffon is really good. And the other one I put in is Summer Rain, a nice fresh scent. Cyclamen, fresh botanicals, and black lava salt. Really, really, really good. The other one I was thinking I might put in in the fresh category is Shoreline Drive. <clears throat> it's in this catalog. Um, the catalog, uh, August 1st, is the new catalog. So that'll give you July to stock up on. I'll be posting everything that's discontinued and all that, so you still have another month. But anyway, Shoreline Drive is Dewy Greens, Passion Flower, and Sea Mist. And that one also is really nice. You know what? What I, I probably should do is pull that one out. I need to pull it out. Hang on. I think I have it right over here. I could be wrong. Usually I am. Yep, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. Okay, this is good because I still have time to switch it up if I need to. Okay. Okay, so Shoreline Drive is um, Dewey Greens, Passion Flower, and Sea Mist. Oh, this is so, so good. If you love fresh. This by far right now is my favorite fresh scent, Shoreline Drive. Summer Rain, Cyclamen, Fresh Botanicals, Black Lava Salt. Oh, goodness, they're so good. They're both so good. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I have to think about this. Okay, I'll take a poll. Who loves what? What should I save? Summer Rain or Shoreline Drive? If you're a freshie, let me know. I want to know. One of those right there. Okay, I think that's it for now. Babbling on, crying on. And what I was about to say, oh, that's how I got started on the crying. Um, yeah, um, Sensi Family Reunion in Salt Lake City going on right now. So we're getting like sneak peeks of what's coming down the pike. A couple of good Christmas warmers. Sensi does Christmas warmers like nobody else. I would say almost all my Christmas warmers. I can think of one that's a Walmart warmer. It has the 12 days of Christmas on it. I love that warmer. The others I put out, I'm pretty sure they're all Scentsy. Um, what else usually comes around Christmas time? They're big. You know what I mean? There's going to be some of those coming. And out of the five that I've seen, I'm probably going to get all of them. Um, what else? Oh, there's some new um, Halloween stuff. And that's all I can say. 
so that's it for now, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Get your bring back my bar. Ba ba bring back my bar orders in. And that's it for now. I will see you soon. Bye.